concerning the fiery trials which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. So this is what a, this is what a father does to his son. When he chastises his son, he chastises his son to teach him certain things. We have to be taught the laws of God. We're not baby. Exactly. Exactly. I'm using the analogy because the Lord uses that as well in the Bible. Read it again. Beloved, think it not strange. So don't think it's strange when the Lord chastises us. That's actually love. Okay? He wants, but he's not chastising us for us to just stay chastised. He wants us to learn from our chastisement so that we can be better men. Hold it. Read it again. Think it not strange concerning the fiery so trial. This is when, when, we, when we get afflicted, it's not strange to us because we understand that the Lord is trying to wake us up. He's trying to grind us up. That's what the Lord is extending to you. Okay, come on. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials, which is to try you. Which is to try us. That's what it's talking about, how to make us into fine gold. Oh, huh? To, right, that's what happens. So in the process of being burnt, it's going to be uncomfortable. That's why it says, read that again, think it not strange concerning the think fiery trials. Think it not strange concerning the fiery trials. The fiery trials. I'm not talking about trials with cold water. It's not going to be easy. So the Lord is going to put us through afflictions to wake us up. Give me Hosea 5.15. I think that's the only way to really learn. Exactly, and that's what the Lord believes in. See, the reason why we're going over these scriptures, because our church is like myself. We've been going to church for many and many years. You follow me? And what have we learned? Nothing. Because they have not showed us the proper way to get ourselves right. right. You cannot just simply, as they say, come as you are and remain there. Come as you are, meaning the way we are now, the Lord is calling us. But it requires change. It requires change. That's right. It requires change. Right. Not to come in and stay the way you came in. Exactly. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. I will go and return to my place to they acknowledge their offense. So our offenses are the sins that we carry on us. The reason why people are getting shot, jailed, murdered all over this country is because of what we read in here. It's because our people refuse to repent. They refuse to return back unto the laws that they are meant to keep. We were charged with keeping these laws. It was not a decision for us to say we will, we're, that we could choose to keep them or not. The Lord said, you must keep them. If you don't keep them, I will destroy you. So we don't have a choice in whether we should keep God's laws or not. You understand? But I'm saying that this particular, these laws that I'm talking about pertain to you specifically because we are the elect of the Most High. We are the children of the Most High. And we were supposed to leave this whole planet Earth in righteousness. Right. That's what the problem is. Go ahead, read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until you, until we acknowledge what we've done against God. The Lord said, I'm going to turn my back on you because you're hard-headed, because you won't listen. You will not follow my word. So the Lord said, you know what I'm going to do because of that? I'm going to turn my back on you. Until what? Until they acknowledge your offense. Until we realize what we've done wrong against God. What did we do against God? We broke God's commandments. That's right. So the Lord wants us to get that in our mind. A lot of us try to act like that's insignificant. They want to act like they can hide their way through Babylon. They want to act like they can hide their way doing all kinds of things outside of this Bible. The Lord said, I'm going to leave you to your own devices for you to be destroyed. Read it. Read it again. I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge their offense. Until we acknowledge what we've done wrong against God. Go ahead. And seek my face. Then we will see God's face. Come on. In their affliction. They will seek me early. In our affliction, when we're getting afflicted, what do we do? We cry to God. But the problem is, when we cry to God, do we cry correctly? What does it mean to cry to God? Seek His Bible, being taught properly. Right. Not going into the church and saying, come as you are, and stay the same the way you went in. Right. That's not what Christ is talking about. That's Christ right. Said he must be born again, 
Meaning that your mind has to be changed to cope, to go along with what's in the Bible. Bring right. it up. Because we have not been taught that. Exactly. So that's what we have to learn. Okay? So I just wanted to give you a little bit of that to show you what's to show you what our requirement is. Come on back there. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. What do you want to ask? You, you mean as far as a, 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 a yes, yes we do. Yes, we, we have we have a congregation. Actually, we have congregations all across the country. But in America, but in New York, we have a uh, school in in the Bronx, New York. As a matter of fact, the information to that is on that slide. So don't go nowhere. We got much more for you. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.